Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. First, I want to say thank you to everyone that has reached out to me, left a comment, sending me their condolences um, because my brother did pass away and that was really hard on me. Um, never lost a sibling or a parent or, you know, I've lost a grandparent, but um, a sibling is close. I mean, that's as close as you're gonna get and a parent is closer, but you know. Um, so it was pretty hard. Um, it's been hard navigating all my emotions at the moment because before my brother passed away, I was already feeling down. When I got that phone call, it was like another, just, it was heavy on my heart. So um, I've been navigating, trying to navigate a lot of these emotions and feelings and thoughts that I'm having um, in my head. Um, yeah, but I wanna pick up where I was recording before my brother passed. I've been journaling, so I've been writing things down um, to help me during whatever I'm dealing with, it, uh, personally dealing with at the moment. Um, so I wanna pick up there. Uh, and sometimes I think it's best like if I write things down, <laughs> So journaling really helps me to get my feelings out and my emotions out. And so that's where we're gonna start. Uh, we're just gonna start with before I found out my brother passed and then work our way up from there, okay? So I wanna say thank you to everyone that has sent a, their condolences, their wishes and prayers. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. It means a lot to me and my family, and I'm slowly trying to build my spirits back up, but let's get into the video. Thanks, guys. It's been six months living in this apartment alone, and now I'm feeling lonely. <laughs> Being alone during my two-year van life journey was a lot different than being alone in this apartment. I didn't really expect to feel like this because when I traveled North America in my minivan camper for two years, I was not lonely. There was so much to do, so much to see and experience, adventures awaiting to explore, mountains to climb. We are 14,115 feet above sea level. It is absolutely breathtaking. Oceans to ease my spirit and cities filled with strangers willing to share a laugh or two with me. A lot has changed since then. I have a full-time job now. I'm legally divorced. I live in an apartment. My mom retired and relocated to Atlanta. And now my brother passed. And I know this is called life. We all go through changes and difficult times. I know. But I've always been the type of person that likes to learn and grow from my experiences in life. I like to believe that's what growth means. Learning not to do the same no. things. And me feeling alone 
behind these four walls. It took me back 13 years ago when my son relocated back to his birth state and I became an empty nester. And when he left, there was a big void in my life for sure. You know, I only had one child. So after he left, it was just me. And I really didn't know what to do with myself. I did not know how to be by myself. And I'm an introvert. How strange is that? Well, I guess introverts don't always necessarily mean you want to be by yourself all the time. You still need people around you. That's the type of introvert I am. But when I get my moments where I need to break away, to recharge, that's where my introvert trait comes into play. Because I do need those moments. You know, but back then, when I found myself alone and lonely, I had the perfect remedy for that. That was to find a replacement. I needed a replacement. And that's how I end up meeting my now ex-husband. He had three kids, y'all. <laughs> Bingo! Him and three kids? I figured I'd never be alone. Again, obviously that didn't go as planned. Because here I am today, living alone. Just me and these four walls and my dog, Bella. And here I am again like I was 13 years ago, feeling the need to find a replacement, someone to fill in that void in my life, someone who would be around, someone who would need and want me, someone I can cook with, laugh with, watch a movie with. So I logged into a dating app and made a profile. And there I am, strolling through profile after profile, looking for someone who can cure my loneliness. But after a while, I started to question myself. Like, Abia, what are you doing? So I had to push pause on going through those profiles because I realized I was doing the same thing I did 13 years ago. Although I didn't meet my ex-husband on a dating profile. This was actually my first time ever on a profile. I think the dating scene has changed a lot since I was last in the dating scene, which was probably, well, 10, 11 years ago. <laughs> I think a lot's changed. I don't know why I was looking for a replacement. Knowing I'm not even ready to date anyone. I'm not ready to start a relationship. I'm not ready for commitment. I'm just not. <laughs> so I had to push pause on that. And I actually ended up deleting the app because I want to grow. And in order for me to grow, I know I can't do the same thing. But today I got my brand new thank you cards which is very, very exciting. So I wanted to show you guys all of the new things and also just reminisce on what my stuff used to look like like two months ago. Um, so this time, I am going to embrace being alone. I am going to embrace living alone and find ways to turn my loneliness into solitude time but also by trying to change up my daily routine that I'm falling into do something exciting you know because that's what van life taught me van life taught me you can go out in the world don't matter which city you are in don't matter which woods you are in and you know how to have a great time and enjoy yourself. So I'm reading this book called The Art of Being Alone and it's really helping me to change my perspective 
on what solo living really can look like. Come to see about your mommy. Such a sweet doggy. Yes, you are, baby. Such a sweet dog. Some bad news. What? My brother died. What brother? Professor. What happened? They don't know. Uh, guys, I promise I'm not going to take too much more of your time, but I do want to read you something from the book because it's really helping me deal with living alone. And maybe this is falling on someone's ears that needs to hear it. So here we go. This is a passage from the book. It's a complete myth that being alone means being lonely. Being alone doesn't mean you are lonely. Being alone means you are with yourself. It's ironic how we create our entire lives waiting for an imaginary person while ignoring our own souls just to realize that the only person missing from your side was you. It's fun to be alone, and it's even more amazing when you use your alone time to build your dream life, achieve your goals, and fall in love with yourself. That is powerful, y'all. To me, it was. It just stuck out to me like that's what I want to do. I want to turn this around and build my dream life, achieve my goals, and fall in love with myself. That sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> this book is helping me to see my life and my future as an empty canvas, and I'm an artist. And whatever picture I decide to paint, that's my choice. So my goal is to turn this into a positive experience. I'm going to embrace my loneliness and my aloneness, and I'm gonna break out of this funk that I've been in. I'm gonna start switching up my routine because I wanna begin painting my canvas. Well, the day is quite not going as planned today. Um, today is my work from home day, and um, I've been doing some journaling lately, you know, about my life, my future, my past, and all that jazz, and I was going to talk a little bit about that, but as you can tell by this video, I got some upsetting news about my brother passing away and yeah so yeah 
and I'm trying to really not think about it as much because I do have to work today. Um, and if I think about it, I just start crying and I don't know. Everyone deals with grief differently. I try to be strong. I've always been that way. So it's kind of good that I'm working today. Kind of help, you know, keep my mind busy, I guess. I don't know all the details of what happened. My dad will stay in contact with me. They live in Mississippi. So eventually I am going to have to make a trip to Mississippi for that. And uh, I'm just taking my lunch break right my lunch break right now to go pick up my inventory. Uh, yeah. So this video is not going as I intended it to be, and that's okay because that's life. Things happen. Right. So I'm probably going to just end this video here because I can't seem to really focus on too much right now. So 